Hey guys, it's Bethany. I'm so excited to finally bring you guys my ColourPop video. This is a haul slash review slash swatch video and I got these products at the end of May. I know, it's been a long time, but I really like to use the products for an extensive amount of time before I bring kind of a review because if I just use it once, I mean I can't really tell you guys how much I like it or not and if it's a fabulous product, which I already know ColourPop is amazing. I did a review, tutorial, demo, all kinds of fun stuff in a video uh, a while ago on my channel. I link it down below with my very first ColourPop order and then I had to pick up some of more of the products when they came out with some of the highlighters, blushes, bronzers, and lippy sticks. So and I just did another order because they just came out with the matte lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks, and so I did do a little order on that too. So I will do another haul video in the future. But uh, let's just get into the video. This is the box that it came with. ColourPop is amazing with their shipping and packaging and everything like that. It's just amazing how they have such great foam around all the products so they're just beautifully snuggled in there so you have less risk of any kind of break breakage when they are traveled to you and shipped to you. So I will kind of run through the products that I got and I will do swatches for all of them and do little reviews. So the first kind of section I will go through is the eyeshadows. I've gotten quite a few of the eyeshadows in the past. That was all that I got because um, that's all they had with my first ColourPop order. And so they came out with a bunch of new colors and I had to pick them up. I'll go ahead and run through the ones that I have on my face and then I'll do swatches of all all of the eyeshadows that I've picked up. So first off I have on my lid today I have the ColourPop eyeshadow in Flux and it's this gorgeous pastel mint and I just blended that into the crease of my eye today just to kind of have a little extra pop of color but this one is beautiful and very pigmented like all of them are. When I used this product I actually just used one of my duo fiber eyeshadow brushes from Real Techniques. I just put it right into the pot and I just blended it out and blended it with my fingers as well. You can use brushes for these eyeshadows if you do want just a solid lid color I think it's just best to just use your finger. The lid color that I picked out for today is Shark Attack and it is already well loved. As you can see I already have hit pan. I don't know if they've put less products in there or I just really like this eyeshadow. I think it's probably the latter. This is a gorgeous, beautiful, peachy, metallic color and I absolutely adore it. I think it's beautiful on the lids and I have always been using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Glitter Glue to apply this if I just want it just to be very pigmented and dense in color. I put this because it is like glue on your lids all over kind of my lids and then I place the eyeshadow on top and the cream doesn't move. It's totally beautiful and it just brings out all of that color. If I want it blended then I use a brush or my finger um, and I don't use this as much but if I just want that color packed color that I put on the glitter glue. And then smoked out kind of in my outer corner is this color which is Drift which is a beautiful cranberry which of course I love. I'm obsessed with anything cranberry, maroon, just love it. So this color is beautiful and I used the Real Techniques base shadow brush with that color to blend that in and it did a great job. These are only $5 each, all of these eyeshadows, so that is amazing. This is Snapdragon and it's a matte shade and it is beautiful. It's a great kind of deeper teal color but very bright on the lids. Another one that would be beautiful just kind of smoked out in the crease. And then this is a Pearlized in Ibiza and it's a really bright turquoise. Gorgeous for a pop of color on the lid or if you want to do a pop of color underneath the lash line. I did that a few times with this color and it was stunning. Next I've got the Metallic Sugar. So it's a metallic and the name is Sugar. And this is cool. It's a unique one. I don't have anything like this. It's a gray blue based silver and it's got some great silver um, glitter in it really really pretty stands out on the lids as well then I have Game Face which is an ultra metallic and this is a just very true kind of penny shade this one will be fantastic for the fall I think that's probably gonna be a go-to and then I think one of my favorites that I picked up was um, Millionaire and this is a metallic 
and this one is again so unique I just love it I think I went more into like the texture in my first video review uh, but these are a really cool kind of bouncy mousse type cream shadow and they don't crease especially if you have something like the glitter glue don't crease at all and they do blend out very nice they do lose a little bit of that super intense shock if you blend it out but it's still absolutely gorgeous and you do want to make sure that you have the lid on these very tight so that you don't um, risk having these dry out but this is a brown but it's got a lot of pink in there and gold in there and it's just high high shimmer I wore this the other day to work and I got so many compliments now to the cheek products so a couple of the bronzers that I'm wearing today first I have on here poolside which is a satin finish and it's a deeper brown I think it's the darkest brown that I purchased and I put this right kind of at the contour on my cheeks so that it was a little bit more chiseled it applies really easily with any kind of brush but I really like this one by Real Techniques I, have a lot, I think all of the brushes except one are Real Techniques and this is the 301 this is their contour brush and I think that it just does a great job blending out if you want to have something that's gonna be really chiseled like that the bronzers the blushes and the highlights lighters do go really well on the skin they blend out like a dream they are just beautiful and they're not super super long lasting if you don't put a powder over top which I've noticed so this is something that if you want to have this kind of pigmentation all day long you will want to reapply or if you want to have a corresponding powder on top just to make sure that that color really lasts a little bit longer then that will kind of help with the duration of the product I do think that I probably only get about five hours of wear where it is this pigmented and that's probably even stretching out the five hours and you know hey if you're going for something a little bit more natural then you're gonna be okay with that that it's not gonna be super intense so I think that it is very natural looking um, it is picking up a little bit darker on my camera than it is in person but I'm, I'm fine with the, the last time doesn't bother me because it is a cream product so I know that that typically doesn't have as long of a last as a powder so okay that was a little tangent um, now we've got Boeing Voyage which is a matte and this is the color that I have all over my face just to kind of bronze and warm up my skin this is a little bit of a cooler toned light brown which is perfect for fair skin for a bronzer all over it looks very natural doesn't look anything too intense especially for someone so fair like me so I've been getting a lot of use out of this one and then on my cheeks today I have the between the sheets this is a matte cheek color and it's a beautiful rosy neutral so it's not going to be something that's super shocking it's definitely an everyday color I think it's absolutely gorgeous on the skin and it's one of the ones that I love the most spoon which is a pearlized highlighter and this is I think one of my favorite highlighters that I got I have it on today and it's gorgeous so so pretty it's got this beautiful champagne finish and it's got tons of glitter in there oh it's beautiful I use the tried and true elf small stipple brush for this for the highlighter as well as for the blush and then for the bronzer the one that I put all over my face the Bon Voyage one I use the real techniques multitask brush to do that so that's what is on my face for cheeks the other cheek products I got I got this one which is a butterfly beach with a pearlized highlighter this one's a little bit deeper than spoon it's a little bit more on the rose gold side and most necessary which is a more peach highlighter and I also have used this one as a blush as well this is another bronzer that I got in aphrodisiac and this was a matte one this one actually or is this a blush I can't remember because um, they're all the super shock cheeks so I'm not sure if it was a bronzer or a blush or whatever if you can do whatever you want but this one's a little bit more of a maroony brown so I think that um, you could do it for both uh, as a bronzer or a blush and it's gonna be really pretty I've used this I think I used it as a blush I honestly don't remember 
but all beautiful. And then this one is Sticky Sweet, which is um, a highlighter or blush for sure. And it is shocking, I know. Um, I saw this one and I had to have it. And it's going to be obviously a lot easier for someone who has deeper um, skin tone to pull this off as a highlighter. But it's not as shocking as you think it would be. So I actually paired it up with a purple blush that I have from Sigma. And just really nicely blended it into that blush. And it looked beautiful as a highlighter. So totally wearable even though it looks like holy smokes how the heck is that a highlighter. Totally doable. You can do it. So those were all $8 for the highlighters, bronzers, and blushes. Still super affordable and totally worth every every penny the lippy sticks and lippy pencils were something I was most excited about when I did this purchase because I've seen so many people rave about them and they are totally all true raves <laughs> so I got three of the lip liners and five of the lippy sticks these are all five dollars uh, the one I'm wearing today is in Lumiere where is it here it is, and it's just this great neutral mauve. Totally wearable, very, very creamy when you apply, just glides on like a dream, and then it dries to a matte finish and stays on for a really long time. These are something that's gonna last um, for a few hours before you have any kind of um, you know, deterioration of the actual lip color. They are fairly messy. This is something that people have mentioned. I think because they are so creamy, when you do apply it, you tend to get product um, everywhere. And then I've got eyeliner on it from my sharpener. Because the packaging is actually plastic, I was a little worried that it was gonna be really hard to sharpen these, but it's not at all. So uh, again, this is Lumiere which I have on today and then I got this lippy pencil in Tootsie which is a really nice just beautiful darker brown but there is a lot of mauve in there as well something that's kind of like the 90s lip trend we've got brills I think that's what this one is yeah brills which is a purpley lavender color. Now to the lippy sticks. The first one I got is a matte, which is in Westy. This one's a nice cool toned pink. And then I've got Cookie, which is something that I have to mix a little bit because it can get a little unflattering with my skin tone because it's a little bit more of a yellow based neutral but it still is very pretty. Pepper which is kind of like the lip liner but it's way more blue based of a purpley pink and this one is a matte forgot to mention um, cookie was a matte um, corset is a hyper glossy a lot creamier then the other ones, not that the other ones aren't creamy, but you can just tell thickness and creaminess of this. This one is a little bit of a darker purple. Kind of got quite a trend here with a lot of the purpley pinks. And then the last one I got was Wet. And this is a, a pearlized. And this one was totally like out of my normal comfort box. But it just was so gorgeous online. I totally wanted to try it. It's this very dark silvery gray it's got some purple in there for sure but um, a really unique color I wore it in one of my last videos it was my uh, project pan pan that palette month 7 update and I mixed it with a plum NYX lip liner and I really thought it was a cool look so really liked that so those are the lip colors that I purchased all the lip colors even the matte ones are super comfortable the matte ones don't dry out your lips they don't make your looks lips look dry even if you haven't exfoliated recently they just are stunning they really are. I don't have any negative things to say about any of the products except the longevity of the bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. <laughs> That's the third one. That's my only con and to me it's not even a con. It's just kind of a fact that a lot of time cream products don't last as long. So you gotta set it with a powder if you want it to last all day. If you're gonna be working 10 hours and you want your look to look flawless, 
just put some powder on top and you'll be set. Always wear you know, your primers, putting a setting spray, that's gonna help with the longevity as well. But other than that, that's really my only like con, and again, it's not even really a con. These are fantastic, affordable products. I know that they're all over the place, so this isn't gonna be new to you guys. Probably most of you already have done many ColourPop orders, and I just, I just wanted to bring you guys my review, and my swatches, and share with you my haul of what I've gotten recently. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see my very first ColourPop video, I'll definitely link it down below so you can check that out. I do a little bit of a tutorial in that video as well, and so that's kind of fun to see. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye.